Welcome to this learning episode. My name is Jürgen Dufner and I'm the Global Technical Trainings Manager of Smart Buildings. Today we will have a closer look to coordination of protection devices and how does it work. In this session, we will discover the difference between beggar protection and selectivity. And we will clarify the statement beggar protection excludes selectivity. Is this really true? Let us first clarify what selectivity and beggar protection means. In easy words, selectivity means that in a case of a fault in a downstream circuit, only the closest short circuit protection device like an MCB will trip. The rest of the installation stays live. In electrical systems of a building, the coordination is normally done in a way to reach a high level of selectivity. In cases where the available short circuit level exceeds the short circuit rating ICU of the downstream breakers, a current limiting upstream breaker can be used to ensure proper protection of the installation. Beggar protection is very often used in industrial applications. In this first example, a S800, a high performance mini two circuit breaker, is used as an upstream breaker. The braking capacity of this device is 36 kilo amperes. The branches are protected with S200 mini two circuit breakers with 6 kilo amperes. The easiest way to find out the values of for coordination is just to use the coordination tables in the main catalog. Here you see the two tables of backup protection and selectivity for upstream breaker S800N and the S200 as downstream breaker in comparison. Let's assume the upstream S800 is selected with a nominal current of 63 ampere and the downstream MCB, the S200B, with 16 amperes. Then you have seen the backup protection would be 36 kilo amperes even through the S200 only have 10 kilo amperes. But the selectivity level would be only at 700 amperes. So consequently, the S800 will not trip as long the short circuit current is less than 700 amperes. Let's change the S800 to a T-Max. This is a very common combination also in buildings. However, it has some disadvantages, especially in the final distribution. The T-Max needs more space inside the enclosure and you may need a special internal assembly modules. Let us choose the same characteristics. Nominal current 63 ampere of the incoming device, 16 ampere of the outgoing device. This combination provides the same backup protection of 36 kilo amperes. The selectivity level is a bit higher at 3 kilo amperes. So the T-Max would not drip below 3 kilo ampere short circuit in the branch downstream. In the last example, we will use an S750DR on the incoming side and the same MCB S200 on the outgoing side. So again, we choose the incoming breaker with 63 ampere and the outgoing breakers with 60 amperes. The backup protection is a bit smaller with 25 kilo amperes compared to the other two examples. To the specific function of the S750DR, the selectivity level is 10 kilo ampere. The main application of the S750 is the protection of the incoming feeder of houses. However, it can also be used in locations where safe and reliable power supply is paramount. One example could be the protection of a hotel section with several rooms. As I mentioned earlier, backup protection is mainly used in industrial applications where you can accept a high short circuit ratings. In buildings, however, it's common to coordinate a protection device for selectivity. How can you find out what the short circuit in a building will be? This is the transformer in an office building in Germany. The nominal apparent power is 800 kVA. The short circuit voltage is 6.32% and the nominal current is 1155 ampere. So with this data, the maximum short circuit at the transformer terminals could be considered with round about 20 kilo amperes. With this value, you can calculate the short circuit at any point in the building with the loop impedance, which can be measured. Typical transformers are also 630 kVA transformers. An example could be an hotel with guest rooms, suites, wellness areas, restaurant, etc. 
This means a maximum current of 910 amperes can be delivered by this device. Considering a 4% voltage drop, there will be round about 23 kA direct at the transformer connection. 6% voltage drop to short circuit current would be 15 kA direct at the transformer connection. For this hotel, the S750DR with an ICU of 25 kA would be sufficient for the backup protection. Considering the loop impedance for the most circuits in the building, the S750 will also provide full selectivity for all circuits. For further information, visit our website. Thank you for listening to this learning episode. See you again in another one. Stay safe and healthy. Goodbye.